Hi, I'm Otaku Me, and welcome back to the video. And this video, I'm going to Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 24. The finale. It's here. It's finally here. The ending. And I do not know what I'm going to do without Vinland Saga Mondays anymore. Like, I'm too up just thinking about it. Like, Monday became my favourite day of the week, thanks to Vinland Saga. And we have been here for 24 weeks watching this. And if you've been here the whole time, it has been a ride. Thank you for joining me on this incredible, emotional, masterful ride that is Vinland Saga. I can't even tell you how much I love this anime and how much it has meant to me over this last two weeks. Last two weeks? No, last two seasons. Wow, I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> Best anime of these like two seasons for me. Hands down, no competition. 10 out of 10. <laughs> And oh my god, last episode just enhanced and that. It was so good. Where do I even begin? Like last episode, everything great happened. We had the meeting with Canute continued. And instead of Thorfinn fighting him, he was like, I'm going to run. And that made Canute laugh. We saw Canute laugh. And then we had actually a really great discussion between them. Like Canute was like, I'm going to do my thing. And Thor was like, I'm, Thorf is like, I'm going to like make up for what you're doing, fill in the holes, but don't give me too much work. And Canute's like, okay, I'll try my best. I love that. I was so proud of them both, especially for Kun for like actually like agreeing to work with Thorfinn like that. They become allies. I'm very happy because I didn't really didn't, I really didn't want them to be enemies. And then Knut withdrew his army from England, gained their trust. They trusted him. He trusts them. Really good relationship formed there. I was very proud of him for that. Thorfinn and Einar <laughs> said goodbye to Arnhead and they confirmed their brotherhood when they shook their hands. Like we're gonna go to Vinland and if it doesn't exist we are going to make a Vinland for Arnaid and I love that so much. I love them and their relationship so much and I love that they're going to go out there and find or make Vinland in her name. Like she's gonna live on through that. Then we had to say goodbye to the farm. I'm gonna miss everyone like especially Snake Roald. Sorry Roald. That's his name. Roaldo. Oh my god when he, get, he said their name, his name that like he really wanted them to know. That was amazing. Oh, I love him so much. I'm going to miss him a lot. Almar, who became such an amazing character over this season. I'm going to miss him a lot too. And oh, Sparkle, Peter, I'm just going to miss them all. Like Those four are the people I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss the farm. I'm going to miss our boys farming and the peaceful land. But also, I am so happy that Leif finally gets to take Thorfinn home. And then we're off to Vinland afterwards. Yeah, we're going home. I mean, I already expected it, but then... Spoiler, I saw the preview, <laughs> which yeah, I should be going home this episode. I'm super, super excited, you guys. It's happening. Leif is finally taking him home. I'm so happy for Leif. I'm so happy for Thorfinn. He's finally going to go home and Einar is with him. I was literally terrified they're going to separate, but no, they are sticking together like I wanted. I'm so happy. Honestly, last episode felt like it felt like an ending. Like It could have just ended there, but we need this episode. We need to go home. I'm so excited. And plus, I will never say more no to more Vin Lazar content. We haven't got a season three announcement yet, which is breaking my heart. Maybe within the hour or something. I don't know. Maybe after I finish recording this, there'll be an announcement. But I need it. I need more Vinland Saga. I cannot live my life knowing, not knowing if there's more. Like, I need to know there's more. I need to know what's coming. I don't care, care where, uh, when. I don't care when. As long as it is going to happen. But hopefully not too long. But just hope it gets announced first. <laughs> Oh, I love this anime so much. But yeah, I'm super, super excited for this episode from the preview shoot. I'm so excited. So let's get into the action. Okay, wait, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Can't believe this is it. Last time we were seeing the motorbikes. I mean, I also see them in Hell's Paradise, so it's not the last time, but it's the last time for Villain Saga for now. <laughs> Guys, I'm just so depressed that it's coming to an end. But I'm also so excited to see it, but I don't. Should I even talk over the intro? Like, you guys, this intro is gorgeous. And now that we've seen everything that happened this season, it has so much meaning. I was having a conversation with my friend. He thinks that the ending, the first ending is going to play in this episode. I don't know if he's right or not. It would be fun. I want Mokanjiu to play because it's the rest of the prophet, my favorite opening. That would be cool, but also with how the emotional aspect of the episode seemed to be heading, maybe Torches would be good. I'd love to see that ending again. I also thought I love this ending. Like I think my favorite ending from Villain Saga is this, like the season two, part two ending. My favorite opening in Kanjo, but this is a very close second. Tell me what your favorite opening and ending is actually. I'm very interested to know that. Call it giving up. I just call it getting lost. 
lost in my hornet. Guys, I know all the words as well. <laughs> I have listened to the song like every day since it came out. And the visuals, the harmonies. I don't know, I just, I, I don't want to say goodbye. Like it's just making me so depressed. I'm very excited for this episode though. And I'm very excited to just like see how they're going to wrap this up. It feels like it's going to be like a very rounded up ending. In the same sense that season one was, but also season one left a lot of room for continuation. Like we need to see what happened next. But this one feels like it's really just coming to an end. Like I feel like they could end it here, but also Vinland. They have to get to Vinland. They have to achieve what they set out to achieve. <gasps> Music. Also, if they play a soundtrack like the end of the prologue soundtrack, like my favorite soundtrack from season one, I will also cry. Like I will love that so much. It looks like Yutaka Yum uh, what's his name? Yeah, Yutaka Yamada. That's his name. Phenomenal composer. There's ice where we are to Iceland! <laughs> you cold? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. But apparently it's not very icy nowadays. Or maybe I just know geography, I don't know. <laughs> He's never been anywhere like this before. Kind of like the UK. <laughs> I love that he's coming home with him. Oh, it's winter, of course. It's like the sun. Learning more about where Thorpe is from. <laughs> Remember we had the dream where he was a shepherd? We didn't even know this. This is really interesting. Do you remember your home, Thorfinn? He has no idea. Of course, he was a kid. <laughs> he was so young when he left. Baby, it's been a long journey, hasn't it? He's all healed up now. Six, wow, and I was like 20 or something. <laughs> you don't know your age, honey! How old are you? Is he like his 20 now? He's like 20, right? That's what I think. <laughs> honey! Wait, but I love seeing him so like animated like this. Happy, so I'm just so happy for him. Oh my god, it's happening. And it's called home. Guys, my heart's beginning to race. I can't do this. I can't, like, it's finally happening. Are they even gonna- Of course his mother will recognize him. Like, your mother always recognizes her son, no matter how long, but- He's, like, all grown up! Guys, my heart is racing so fast. Home sweet home. All I think of is I feel- I think of the first opening when I see this. Thorfinn running along the pier and like past his like family who are working on the house. No, you can hear his heartbeat. Or was that my own? I don't know. <laughs> Your mother and sister are waiting for you. Do they know him? Do we know you? <gasps> Do they know him? <laughs> he has no idea who they are. <laughs> and they have no idea who he is. <laughs> Thought that she had a brother. How is he meant to know he was six years old? They give him a break. Ax. They're feeling so innocent here. No. Leif, back him up. He's loving this. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. Is Yelva the chief right now? Since, you know, like Thor is was. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's happening. It's her voice. I assume. I don't remember, it was so long ago. <laughs> I love her though. <laughs> she was always a badass. 
<laughs> you're gonna turn around to your brother, but you don't expect that. <laughs> Look who it is! I feel like she's gonna punch him for some reason. And yeah, she's gonna kick him or something! Oh my god, why would you do that? Hey! No, that was not what I wanted! <laughs> what? This was not the hard one I was thinking of! He didn't die. <laughs> Because he didn't come back, he ran off. <laughs> she has no idea what he's been through. <laughs> no, she actually thinks her brother's dead. I guess she doesn't want to raise her hopes. No, this is actually him. <laughs> Go to the mom, she will know. <laughs> this is like Anastasia. Like, you know that movie Anastasia? <laughs> no. Wait, this is so sad. He's just being like cast aside. He was waiting for a heartwarming reunion. <laughs> she will. Yes, let's go home. Huh? <laughs> Honey. You can't, yeah, I can't blame her. I was about to say you can't blame her. But he recognized her. Slightly. I don't think they've gone. They refuse to accept, like, to even, like, have hope that you're alive. <coughs> he has a very fair point. Aww. Aww. Go on, go see your mom. <laughs> oh, they really do call him bug eyes. <laughs> well, it'd be weird to call him Come on. Oh my god, I'm not ready. Oh my god, there's so many kids! Whose kids are these? Hi, Mom! Oh, wait, the Yoba has kids! She's a grandmother! Look, it's your son! You know it, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah! Oh my god, bye guys! <laughs> This one. <laughs> no. no, I'm gonna cry. Oh. <gasps> 
let me fuck with his mom. Leif, you did it. You did it. I'm so happy for them all. Oh my god. We finally got it. I never thought we'd actually go back home. Where are you gonna have to stay now? You'll your brother is actually here. That's actually your brother. <laughs> Is that Yelva's husband? Yeah. Who are you? I don't even know who you are. I think he was probably one of the ones on the boat. Oh, I remember now! Yes! That name is familiar. I don't even need to say sorry. So long ago, oh my god. See, I'm so emotional, it's just destroying me. Sweetie. Look at the way they're shaking too, my heart. Oh, Einar, if only you could see your family too. Where are you going? Nah, you're staying! You're his brother! She's gonna tell him to stay, isn't she? Exactly! <laughs> Your family! Yeah! Oh, I love that! Also, Thorfinn playing with the kids was so cute. Oh, no, he has a home now! Yelva! He made <laughs> a little chuckle. <laughs> his before he's okay but that was a knockout <laughs> I just started watching episode one almost a year, like Thorfinn. I, I, no, sorry. I started watching Villain Saga and I was like with episode one just over, just under a year ago. It was summer season, beginning of summer season. Just take it in. Take it in. Aww. Just got little dolls and stuff. 
Everything that he did, everything he's been through. God, what a quick run through for us. He just told everything that happened in the last two seasons. Wow, you guys! Oh my god. So much has happened! Yeah, they're experiencing what we experienced, basically. And they left us speechless too. Yes, that is our goal, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I can't tell if my guys like widen his eyes into chakras, just signs. Oh, yes, mom! Yes! Sorry to pause for them, but did you remember that this whole story started with a slave? In episode one, when that slave came to them. And Thoris tried to save his life, and he was there in his ending. Remember how special that is? Like, that it started there, and now, through everything he's been through, we're back here. We're back in this house, and he's telling them, I want to do better. I want to save people. I want to free people. That's so special, you know? Thoris! They did. Yeah.。That's right. She could do nothing but urge him on. Son of Thor's. Yes. Mom, you got it! You're pushing our son to do this! Yes! Oh, so heartwarming! Will Leif join him on this? Yeah, there's a lot we need. <laughs> Hey, Liv, you're a merchant, aren't you? You can help him with this. You'll have someone to teach you. Leif will teach you! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! Leif would know. <laughs> well, they called him dad as well. Oh, I love this. I love this little family we have, and I love what Leif is going to help him get to the point where he can establish this new land. Oh my god. Throwback! I wish Thorpe still had his dagger, you know? That was Thor's sword. With Thor's back down here. Remember how bad she took it? She was trying to be strong before, but she lost it. He was. 
strong and kind. That's what Almer just called Thorfinn in the last episode. But we always see him with this shot. God. Strange man? He was an amazing man. He may have been strange to you, but he was everything. The lights! Episode 1 again, just bringing it right back. I'm feeling so emotional. God. That was where they buried the slave that I was talking about. We're going to talk about it. We didn't even know them. But they set us on a path. Sounds like someone we know. He's very much like Thor's dad. I wish Einar could have met him. I wish he was still alive now, but then if he was, we would have never gone on this journey. I bet he's smiling right now, though. Bye bye. Baby Thorfinn! <laughs> no! No, they it together! Oh my god! This is Alexander's sword. Oh my god! Back when the baby thought she was so young! Back when he left for them and took the glee violence! Oh my god, we're getting reminiscing! Oh my god! Life was so young before! Who are. Wait! Ask a lot? Hold on. Was that meant to be? That, that's, that's Ask a lot, right? I'm not wrong. I'm so disappointed in myself, I'm wrong. I think, I think it is him. Like we're showing everyone's beginnings, this is him. Hmm. I believe. I'm gonna go with that. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, but I really hope I wasn't wrong. Oh, hello, cut hair! And no beard? He looks so much younger. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I need to go back just to make sure. Was that Asklad? Okay, we saw Leif. Yeah, that was a grave for his mother. This is Asklad. I am not... Uh, that's, yeah, that's him. Okay. That's him. That's it. That's all I believe. Unless this is the next person we're going to meet, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Kai hair Thorfinn, though. I'm not sure how I feel if I like him more with the long hair or with the short hair. But he looks a lot younger. Oh, I can hardly recognize him with that, like, with this new look. New look, new journey. Here we go. How long is left? No, it's the end! No! That's 
how we're ending it. Oh my god, that's all so short. Damn, play Makanjo or the ending. <laughs> or torches. It's fine though, this episode. This was amazing, you guys. What a nice way to end it, but also to set up what's next. We had the reunion that we were waiting for. Thorfinn, like, oh, I love this reunion with Yield Boppers. That was so funny. We needed that little bit of humor. Um, I did like, like, I think it fit well there. And now everything has been sorted and we're moving on. The humor fit really well there. And it, it fit Yilva, you know, from what I remember from season one. I don't know, my memories is like the same as like Thor right now. Like, we're very faded. <laughs> he has more reason than me. A lot of time, more time has passed for him and he was a lot younger. But yeah, she was like that. And that really, that really fit. And then when he ran with his mom, that was just so heartwarming. Like, she knew it was him immediately. And him apologizing to them. Guys, this shot, oh, I was so close to tears several times this episode. Guys, I'm so happy for Leif. Leif is the man. He really went out there, kept his word to Thor's, and finally brought his his, like, his son, Thor's his son, Thorfinn, back home. And I love that for him. And I was going to help him for the future. There's no previews there. There's nothing. It's done. Oh, It really did not feel like a full episode. I feel like, oh. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's the end. Like I was saying, Thorfinn made it home, got to reunite, told his family about everything. I'm sorry that Yilva married that guy in the end. Ari, is that his name? Something like that. And they have kids and stuff. And Thorfinn finally just got to see his whole family. What's left, of course, wasn't there. But he was there in spirit. And we got that moment. That moment was beautiful when Thor's answered little Thorfinn. And they were looking out to that site that we always see Thor's looking out to. But Thorfinn was there with him. And that was so special to me, like that really moved my heart. Wow. I'm still in awe. And Einar being welcomed was so sweet. He is Thorfinn's brother. And I love that the mother was like, you're his brother, so you're my son. He's got a home to go back to now. Just like Thorfinn has a home, he always had this home and he finally got to go home. This is now Einar's new home. He has a home, he has a place that he can always go back to now. And I think that is also so special because he lost that. He lost it. like first time that it was burnt down he rebuilt it with his mom and his sister and then he lost it all again and now he's been given another family and another home and i really really like that i love this so much oh, no but i love just like how he like thorfinn told them about everything and his mom was so ready to be like no go do it like i'm not gonna stop you you think i'm gonna stop you you're surprised that i'm telling you to go no you are thor's son and you need to do this after everything you've been through i want this for you and i really like that like she's really his mother and she really understands him and it really shows the understanding of a mother for a son like no matter how long he's been gone she understands him she knows him and she knows him best and it's, it's surprising that you can say that when they were separated for so long but she knows his feelings and what he's thinking and what he needs to do and I love that. And now we're sending off. And I love that Leif is going to help. What are we getting? Merchant Thorfinn next? Like, obviously we can't go straight to Vinland and create a paradise there. Like, we need... Just like Canute built his forces and stuff. Okay, Thorfinn can't exactly rule, like, have, a, like, a, the crown. <laughs> but he needs to get some money and some ships and some people to help him build this new place, this Vinland. And I also question, okay, this came to me. What if people already live on Vinland? Like... Are they not going to be natives? Like, can we create a new land if this already, like, inhabited? I remember Leif said that no one was there, like, it was an inhabited land. But who knows? Like, time has passed now. Maybe people are live there now. I don't know. But we're going to be merchants, which means we're going to be doing a lot of traveling, I assume, on those ships. Um, selling things, getting money, making new friends. There's going to be a new character. Okay, the last episode of season one showed us three characters. Einar has been revealed, so next one is that, I think it was a blonde guy who was... He was scaling a snowy mountain, from what I remember. So, he's next, I assume. I guess they showed him in the order, so he's gonna be next. Very excited. I'm just glad that we're, repl and we're not replacing one without the other. Like, we didn't lose Aenor to gain another. No, Aenor's still gonna be there. Our brother... <laughs> Guys. Oh my god, no, this was amazing. This episode really rounded off really well, but also set up for what's next, like I was saying. Thorfinn, cut hair. What is the thoughts? He looks very different. Without the beard and with the cut hair, 
he looks very different. Dare I say he looks kind of attractive. <laughs> but no, he's still a baby to me. I can't see him as, like, attractive because he's just my little forfa, you know? He's my son. So I can't see him that way. Sorry. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I think still right now, I think I prefer the long hair with the beard. I think I like that. Even though I don't like beards. But, like, the, <laughs> but that's like it's done something to me. Like, the snake, he has a beard. And I was, like, simping all over him. Oh, God. Canute, too. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see more of it. If season three gets announced, any announcement? Anyone hear anything? Let me know if you have. But yeah, this is a really nice way to round it off. A really nice ending. Guys, this season has been something special. I remember watching season one with you guys, if you, for the people who were there, and that was an amazing ride, but nothing could have prepared me for what season two was going to bring and how it was going to, how it was going to elevate the series even more than it already was like i already loved it but this season farmland saga people were telling me a lot of people are gonna drop it this season and that people might not like it because it's lacking action but it didn't need the action and i didn't care for action anyway we got some of it and that's great but i didn't need that and for everyone who dropped it <laughs> i saw someone saying season two was like an opportunity to weed out the fake fans that didn't care for the actual story it happened <laughs> they were right but no, we, we got such a special story and Thorfinn's development. Season 1 really was the prologue. I miss Askeladd like crazy, but the moments that we did get in the season were so special and important. I think that last person seen, like, I think that was him. I think that was him. They showed Thor's, they showed Thorfinn, no, they showed like little Thorfinn, they showed the mum, they showed Thor's, they showed Leif, and then they showed Askeladd. I think that was really Askeladd. I hope it was. <laughs> I hope I'm right. It looks like him, okay? It looks like him. And that was his mother's grave. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking about it. Okay. But yeah, this season, like Thorfinn's growth throughout him learning from what he's been through, his change, his brotherhood with Einar, everything that he's been through on the farm, it has come to such a great conclusion. And season two was like even better than season one for me. And I can't believe how like amazing it is. Like every episode was incredible. There was not a single bad episode. There was not a single episode that wasn't needed. And yeah, I think Villain Slack is in my top five anime now. Like oh, wow. I'm just in awe, you know? I could I can't tell you how much I love this. And I know a lot of you feel the same. Everyone in the comments shares my feelings. And even those who don't comment, I'm sure you feel the same way. Like this anime is something else and I really do hope to continue it with season three like I really need this season three I really need it to be continued I want to see Merchant Thorfinn I want to see him going to Vinland with Einar I want to see the new characters that they see they tease for us I want that so bad also I just want to say thank you to like everyone who had a part in making this to um Yukimura the mangaka Thank you so much. I, they probably won't see this, but thank you so much, Yukimura, for creating this manga. And thank you so much to Shuhei Yabata, the director, and everyone else who worked on this masterpiece. I cannot be more grateful. And I, I love it to pieces. And I want everyone to experience it. Let's I convinced my brother to watch it. So now after, now that it's done, we're going to rewatch it all. But I'm going to rewatch it. And he's going to watch it for the first time. And I'm going to, he's going to like it. I, I'm going to, you can't not like it, okay? <laughs> I'm so excited to rewatch it actually. I haven't rewatched it ever and I'm it's gonna be so special to rewatch it from the episode one of season one going all the way to here and seeing how far we've come. Great, oh my god. Guys. Also I wanna thank you guys. I wanna thank everyone who was there from season one or even just from season two or somewhere along the way came along my videos and joined us for the ride. I could not have enjoyed this anime without you guys as much as I did. I mean yes, I maybe like you guys in increased, okay? This was amazing, but being able to discuss it in the comments with you guys, Villain Saga comment section is one of the best comment sections I've ever had where we just get to discuss these episodes and the meaning and the dialogue and pers different perspectives and things. Like, it was so special to me to always get to read those comments and to reply to them. So thank you to everyone who commented, everyone who watched the videos as well. Like, I started off Villain Saga and there weren't many people following along because I was doing season one after it aired, long after, and people weren't really interested in that, but those some people were. And I'm so glad I continued with it because then I got to do season two as it was airing. Um, I found a lot of people who love it just as much as I do. And we got to have those conversations. And I, I really do appreciate it. So thank you everyone so much. To everyone who... That didn't make sense. Thank you so much to everyone who joined me on this ride. And who watched my videos and enjoyed them. And I'm very happy that you did. And if we get a season three, I don't know where I'll be at that point in life. I don't even know if I'll still have this channel. But 
if I do, you'll bet I'm gonna be reacting to it. There's no way I could do this without you guys if I do sell my channel. I'm not gonna talk about like leaving or anything, but we don't know where I'll be at that point, but I really hope that I do get to watch season three and get to react to it with you guys. That'd be really amazing. But until then, stick around, maybe. <laughs> maybe you like some of my other videos, you know? Like, um, Demon Slayer just ended yesterday. We're going into summer season now. I'm gonna react to New Jujutsu Kaisen. Haven't decided what else I'm gonna be reacting to yet. There's a little post and I'm gonna put a poll up, I think, to like see what you guys want because I'm not really sure what other than JJK. But I'm very excited for Jujutsu Kaisen at least, so stick around and we'll have a good time and there'll be continuous reactions as we're going on. And and even last second news, I will be there. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is so good. You guys, I can't even into words how much I love this anime, how special it is, how amazing it is how much I love Thorfinn as a character and the other characters too like I thought I might come to not like Canute but no I'm just one of the they like they, they let me continue liking him oh, and Anor and just Leif Asklad Thor's everyone oh great great oh my god I'm so satisfied but I also like if it ended here I would also still be happy but I also want to see us go to Finland and achieve that goal Born in for us. Like, this was what everything is leading to for us to get to Finland. It's Vinland Saga after all, but it means so much more. Vinland, the word, and this, like, it means so much more than just a place. Oh, okay. I keep talking because I don't want this video to end because when it ends, it means that Vinland Saga is over for now. And I don't want that. <laughs> but I guess I have to end it now. Oh, God. Yeah. See, last time still talking in season one i got to like wrap up my thoughts for myself and then like i talked about my final thoughts of season one in the trailer reaction that i did afterwards but this is it for this like i can't talk about it further than this for now there'll be things on twitter and i'll reply to your comments i've seen read them so i'm really forward to that please do comment how you're feeling <laughs> and your thoughts um yeah but until we get more this is it this is goodbye oh, okay Okay, I'm gonna end it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe if you did and follow me until next time.